This is module six, end of module review, page three. Number three. The students measure the length of the crayfish in Mr. Nye's class. His measurements in inches are shown on the line plot below. So I see that we have crayfish lengths from Mr. Nye's class starting at two inches and ending at three and one half inches. How many crayfish are in Mr. Nye's class? Explain how you know. When I look at this line plot, I can see that there are many different amounts of X's on the line plot. Each X equals one crayfish. If I count all the X's, I will know the total. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So I can write as a sentence there are twenty-one crayfish. Explaining how I know, I would write that I know because I counted all the X's. Letter B, what are the three most frequent measurements on the line plot? Write them in order from shortest to longest. So I'm gonna look back up on my line plot. And I want to find the three measurements, so the three numbers on the bottom that have the most X's. I see three is definitely one because it has the most X's. Two and three fourths inches is another that would be the most frequent because there are four X's above it. Now in this particular line plot, I also have three X's above two and one half inches and three X's above three and one fourth inches. So those are also two of the most frequent. The question only asks me for three of the most frequent, so I'm going to choose two and one half inches. Then I'm gonna take those numbers and I'm gonna write them in order from the shortest length to the longest length. I'm talking about inches. So of those three numbers I circled, two and one half inches is the shortest. two and three fourths inches is the next shortest and three inches is the longest.